Hey everyone, this week on Blanket of Sound, we're taking a look at Field Rituals by Cohenhold Comp. It was released in the year 2008 on the experimental label Type, and its genre is ambient and field recordings. Now before we get started here, I'd like to give a big thank you to Pexels. This is where I got most of the stock footage and stock imagery that you see in this video. Without them, this would have been infinitely more difficult to produce. And I am ever grateful for all of the people that upload their video and photography for creators like us to use. So please check them out if you have not already. If you haven't heard of what field recordings are, it's essentially when an artist takes a recorder, goes out to a specific location to try to capture ambient noise in that area in order to create an atmosphere. Due to its similarity to photography, field recordings are sometimes referred to as phonography. This album will take you on many journeys over the course of its eight song track list. However, I think one of the most interesting journeys it will take you on is the 14 minute saga of Skyflowers. Skyflowers has masterful use of synths, along with the electric noodling of the guitar feeling like rays of sunlight pelting your face and the sounds of far off kids squealing on the playground, you feel like you're at a picnic on a bright, warm summer's day. Cohen Holtkamp's masterful use of drones shines through here, as then drones transcend from the heavens and really massage your brain. Have you ever taken a second just to sit and try not to think of anything? It seems really easy at first, but one of the things I found is that meditating is difficult. It's hard not to think of anything. But Cohen Holtkamp's music makes it easy for me to not think of anything. It makes it easy for me just to lean back in my chair and forget about all the things that are bothering me as the LP spins away. I feel not a lot of people have mental peace or clarity, which makes what Cohen Holtkamp is doing in Skyflowers and on Field Rituals as a whole even more important. When a lot of people feel forgotten or left behind in modern day society, Field Rituals offers this unique experience where you can let go of all that and simply just live in a serene moment. Much like the great storytellers or writers of our time, Cohen Holtkampf displays an amazing ability to be able to create an environment in which we care about the characters and the surroundings in which we inhabit. The songs don't need to be over 10 minutes to be good either. Cohen Holtkamp is able to create an aural environment in both Bear Bell, Walker, and Half Light in under 10 minutes. Bear Bell is also one of the most dynamic performances of Cohen Holtkamp on the synth over the course of the album. The synths on this track are sharp and tidy. At a certain point, the drones and synths feel almost like an accordion stretched out to infinity. It brings pictures to the mind of an idyllic countryside where a family is sat out on the patio as the sun nestles itself into the rolling hills. I've never lived in the countryside. I'd think I'd like to, but the fact that I haven't and Cohen Holtkamp is able to bring to mind these images is a true testament to his artistry. I find it challenging to attach myself to ambient music that is sparse in instrumentation. I feel even though there are times where the instrumentation is thin at specific points in field rituals, I never find myself leaving the soundscape Cohen Holtkamp created. The track House in Spiral Imergen, roughly translating to House in Spiral in the Rain, is the final track of the album. At times when I would be disturbed, I would turn to rainfall noisemakers. One of my favorite sounds was the rain on tent choice. I really enjoyed the feeling of wrapping myself up in a blanket, closing my eyes, and picturing myself in a single person tent during a rainstorm. The entropic cascading rain droplets pelt and explode among the tarp as you remain dry and warm on the inside. House and Spiral Imregen brings me back to that moment. Field Rituals also stays true to the core tenets of ambient music. 
Brian Eno is quoted in saying that ambient music should be, quote, as ignorable as it is interesting, and the pursuit of, quote, inducing calm and a space to think. I can ignore field rituals just as much as I can ignore the children screaming at the park. The drones and guitars playing with synchronicity is infinitely fascinating. The raindrops hitting against my tent display a similar amount of variation and possibility. Field rituals is also profoundly calming and meditative. It is easy to have mental clarity when you're absorbed in its clutches. I would say an underappreciated hobby is thinking in public. I enjoy imagining the lives of other people as they mingle and go in front of me. It has been harder to observe raw life occurring recently, making Cohen Holtkamp's music even more important. It offers you a spot to sit and reflect on the things which brought you joy or pain. Its nature is not to present you with your mood, but to foil, reflect, and dazzle you with your thoughts. Cohen constructs a monument to those in-between moments that exist when you're going to and from. While it may seem as if those moments of your life are wasted, those are the moments that constitute living. While life may have moments that get written down in your journal, your day-to-day -day life is vastly different. It has that feeling of familiarity and home. I have come to know recently how much I relied on a pattern to be happy. Waking up and freshening up in your own way, driving to work and parking in your spot, taking your shortcut on the way back. All of these things scratch an itch, in a sense. They give context, grounding, and meaning to the other events in our life. I feel there is a discussion to be had on the difference between music and noise. In Field Ritual's case, it happily lies in the cross-section of that Venn diagram. Cohen Holtkamp's music allows you the opportunity to relive those moments you had the misfortune of forgetting. Field Rituals is a photo book full of your mental Polaroids. It gives you the wonderful gift of being able to go back and revisit times and places long gone. It allows you the comfort of finding yourself lost somewhere new. The synths, drones, field recordings, and guitar work execute effortlessly in this wondrous ballet. Cohen Holtkamp delivers a beautiful 55-minute experience as his debut LP. Not only was it a landmark album for his career, but I believe Field Rituals is one of the landmark albums of the genre that will live on as a classic. Have you listened to this album? What are your thoughts? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for having this discussion with me. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or subscribe. It'd mean a lot to me. And I'm looking forward to our next discussion, but until then, envelop yourself in the blanket of sound.